Welcome back to Artech. In today's video, we're going to review this smartwatch from YHE Technologies. I've seen so many smartwatches, but none of them had an inflatable cuff. This one's got an app up inside. Let's review this. So this comes in a nice black box. Nothing mentioned on it, just YHE Technologies. This is called the Y001S. It's a smartwatch which is uh, specifically built to take accurate blood pressure readings. Let's open the box and find out how good this is. So the box is actually sealed, but the seals seem to have come off because of whatever reason. And inside, I can see that there's a small watch right in the middle and it's got a protective uh, plastic coating on it trying to get this box out there's a small latch to pull this whole thing out nothing else in the box and here's the watch it looks like it's got side compartments obviously it's got some cables or something it's hiding so let's pull out this thing so the watch feels quite heavy and inside this particular case there's another few small boxes you can see the manual in the corner so there is a user guide and there's also a manual so both look quite comprehensive colored stuff this watch is called the BP Doctor Pro Yep, it's got BP Doctor Pro in the name. And here's the charger. It's got four pins and doesn't look like it's got any kind of magnet. Micro USB. I mean, latest technology on the watch, but I don't know why they still use micro USB. Maybe it's a cost factor. Cable is nice though. Nice and strong, good quality. And it's at least a meter long, so which is good. So let's take off the screen protector here and you can see that it's actually a square display. It's about 1.41 inches uh, diagonally and uh, it's, it's a noble shape but the screen is actually a square in the middle or a rectangle you can call it. And uh, this finish is actually nice. I like the DPU strap here. It's uh, really nice and yeah, it's got the stainless steel finish on the watch. And this looks like the inflatable uh, section. To be honest, I really did not know this watch inflates. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so that's another thing. Uh, this this material here is actually, um, you know, stainless steel medical grade, and all the sensors are located right at the back. So, for some reason, the watch looked like you know uh, the straps were actually fixed in the wrong orientation. But uh, this is how this watch is made. Right. I'm just trying to power it on. There are two buttons on the left side of the watch. So one's a power button, the other one is just a function button where you can switch off the screen and stuff like that. So um, I tried switching it on but it did not show any display till you install the app. So you need to have the app installed. It's called the BP Doctor app. Uh, this is on iOS as well as Android. So once you install it, you register, you know, create a profile, uh, put in your stuff and then, you know, the watch will sync obviously and once you have the app running you can just uh, go and add devices it will actually find this watch because the watch is continuously kind of sending out a signal about uh, the Bluetooth pairing so I've just uh, selected the profile by default and you can see that the watch is already there and once you confirm it it will install this and there you go so only once you put the app you get the display with the colored dial and stuff like that. Otherwise, it's just going to say, uh, pair the watch first. So the resolution is 320 by 360. And I, I was expecting it to have a display all throughout, but it's just a square display right in the middle, square or rectangle, a slight rectangle probably. And immediately, you know, I saw this, uh, you know, the watch strap was actually filling itself with air because uh, they thought I'm trying to take a beep reading. So this is built to take accurate readings. Uh, supposed to be medical grade um, yep so once you put stop you can actually see that it deflates really quickly 
and I just want to see it again. And it's it's got a small air pump. It takes a little bit of time, but you can see it's considerable amount of air which is being pumped through that strap. Very nice, cool feature. So there is one drawback to this though. So this isn't IP rated, so you can't use this uh, when you have, say, a, a situation like rain, for example. So you, you may not want to take this out. And the thing is, to put this on, you need to uh, leave a two-finger space between your wrist uh, and your hand, and that's where you actually tie this. And as you, as I mentioned, this is actually uh, the reverse order. The straps actually reversed in this case. I thought I was holding it wrong, or they fixed it wrong, but you have to uh, put the strap in a different way over here. Anyway, once you tie it up, uh, it's quite comfortable. You do feel that it has this extra band around your wrist. And once you uh, kind of start taking the readings, uh, you can feel the pressure. It does get pretty tight. Not in a way to hurt you, but you do know that, you know, uh, the watch is actually working. And uh, because of the size of the air pump, it's a little slow. So it will take some time to kind of inf inflate that whole uh, wristband. And you need to keep your hand in a, such a way that, you know, it's parallel to your heart, right? Or at least high enough so that, you know, it's comfortably at the same level as your shoulder or your heart. And I can feel the pressure building up over here. So I'm going to use guest mode for now because I didn't put a profile right. So let's see what happens. So this table is almost the height of uh, my heart right now. So I'm just forwarding this so that I can show it to you a little quickly. It does take some time. There you go. So it's 129 by 75. And the display is quite crisp. It's it's daytime and I can see the display quite clearly. So pretty nice. And I think it's quite accurate as well. So try this a couple of times just to uh, make sure that, you know, uh, it works fine. But, you know, it does fail when you try and, you know, play around with the position of the watch. So you need to make sure that you're sitting comfortably and you have your hand on the table or it's going to keep failing and it's going to give you an error code saying that, you know, it's not working fine. So let's check the app out. So this, this app is just like any other smartphone, smartwatch app. So uh, it, it kind of gives you uh, readings in depth when you click on each of these separately you can schedule alarms you can change watch faces so the thing is since this is built specifically for your blood pressure readings the kind of watch face options you have is very limited right i just saw about uh, nine to ten of them and that's all you have so i didn't find a lot of options to change watch faces maybe this is coming in the future but as of now it's just uh, nine watch faces so it also shows you other details here. I mean, you can set up goals, you can add family members, you can uh, add different categories for blood pressure monitoring, change the units. And you can also, uh, you know, you should be sure to fill up all the profile details accurately. And also this app does take your mobile phone number so that, you know, it kind of links it to one account at a time. So that's another thing. I mean, not everybody wants to do that, but you will have to use your mobile number. And since this is a new app, there's no previous data, but if you do use this on a regular basis, you'll see that the fields are actually populated. It gives you a consistent set of readings for the last couple of days or weeks. So I did one more check to see if I get a reading and I got the error code again. It's probably because of my hand position, but yeah, I, I can agree that it was a little frustrating to kind of get this thing to work and give you a reading when, whenever you wanted it. And it takes quite some tries and yeah, sometimes the readings look way out of position. So this one says 99 by 71. I don't think that's accurate, but it's probably because, you know, I was moving around and stuff like that. So the watch has got other features. Uh, it's got the sleep apnea alert thing, which is really nice. And then this one's the heart rate variability. So HRV reading kind of helps you track your heart, heartbeat movements and also got uh, sleep monitoring. Apart from that, it's also got uh, the regular heartbeat and SpO2 readings, which almost all watches have nowadays. It's also got the workout mode. And of course, you can go to settings and play around with the display brightness. And uh, it's also got always on display, by the way. 
and this can be turned off again on the watch in case you don't want that display to be on all the time it's also got uh, uh, you know move it alert basically letting you know that you've been sitting in one place for long and of course language options and few other things but the main thing is this is a bp watch and it does look different from some of the other watches in the market you like to see a square or a circle of course i mean uh, this this uh, new design a little stand out from the rest of them so pressing and holding the wallpaper will kind of let you change it i tried something and it just moved off but yes you can press and hold to change the watch face so the battery it's a 170 mAh battery so it will last you for about 2 to 3 days they have a super saver mode which lets you run it for about 6 to 7 days and i think the processor is pretty okay for the functions it has it's an mtk processor 256 uh, megabytes of memory and uh, just basic battery life of 2 3 days so here's a real world testing so i got a bp monitor i borrowed this from someone just want to see how well it's going to work so just imagine the kind of hassle this uh, watch helps you uh, you know avoid like if you want to put this bp thing on it's going to take at least about 5 minutes and you need help sometimes and you need batteries <laughs> so this this is where you know the watch actually shines so anyway i i just kind of took a few readings i'm going to fast forward this thing so yeah that's reading number 1 i took three readings to kind of note it down and you know compare it with the watch just want to see how consistent it is of course the machine is a little faster so we got three readings here very close to each other and then with the watch let's see what happens so with the watch uh, again it's going to take some time so i'm i'm kind of putting that reading here on the screen for you so you get three different readings and it was different you know considerably compared to the machine especially you know the diastole readings were uh, slightly off and of course the failure rates on the watch were much higher so i'm sure that some sort of firmware update which will come on soon and you know that will change soon but yeah you do get a lot of errors and you need to kind of make sure that you're sitting comfortably and the watch is correctly positioned on your wrist there you go three times it's failed already so that's a cause of frustration for sure i'm just being really honest here and this is uh, fast forward i mean it's it's going to take at least a minute and that's my first reading there so it's got about 123 by 70 second time 119 by 77 so yeah not really consistent is it and this is back to back so I'm just wondering if uh, everything's okay. Third reading, just waiting for it. Yeah, it's about 118 by 74. So you can see, I mean, this slight difference in the diastole readings between the two uh, devices. Uh, I wasn't really sure, so I, I just thought I'll do the test once more and. <laughs> just to be on the safer side i just did this test again with the normal machine as well immediately back to back so 125 by 86 so let's make it five readings right yeah so reading number 4 on the omron machine was about 123 by 88 So I can see that the diastole reading was very consistent, right? I mean, there, there was a slight variation, but very less. Whereas on the watch, um, I was just seeing that the readings were just going haywire. Again, I changed the position of the watch. I used my right hand just to check what happens, but uh, it's probably because of that. And yeah, so that makes a difference too. So I took one last final reading. Yep, so 117 84 on the Omron and 110 by 92. That looked a little bit closer. 
but yeah so if you're using this watch you just have to make sure that you tie it properly and you leave the two finger space sit comfortably have uh, the right orientation to get good readings so the use case for this watch is slightly different according to me it's not like a casual watch you can wear every time probably people who have problems with blood pressure monitoring can use this and it's cutting edge i mean it's got this inflatable cuff which is really unique and the design is also different so you might like it it's also available in rose gold and made by YHE. I'll leave links in the description below. Let me know if you like this watch and what you think about it. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe, hit the like button, share it with your friends. See you on the next one. Bye.